Man, what I witnessed this week was insane. This here is a terrarium I call Marauder's Alley, home to my epic young marauder ant colony that, believe it or not, lives inside that castle. Deep within the recesses of this castle's basement exists the colony, lying quietly in their nest. Sliding off this cover, we meet our mighty ant colony. They're hyper-focused at this time on growing their numbers. That huge mama you see there, in the middle of all that chaos, is the colony's royal queen we've named the Titanic Empress. The Titanic Empress is the single most important member of the colony, as she is the one tasked to lay all the eggs. Her sole responsibility is to grow the colony bigger and bigger into the massive ant colony horde this species of ants eventually become. A huge major, her personal bodyguard, sits on watch right by her side, vowing to protect her at all times. The queen has been so busy laying eggs with the brood pile so big now that she's literally dressing herself in babies. See that pupa and that larva there on her body? The queen wearing her babies like this is very typical behavior for this species, like royal living accessories, almost celebrating her immense prowess in creating life for the colony. Oh, looks like a worker is picking up the larva to place it now in a better spot. But with so many babies now, eggs, larvae, and pupae, the entire nest is literally draped in curtains of brood. And this explosion in colony population, plus the queen's body constantly manufacturing new eggs, there comes an insane degree of collective colony hunger like no other. This marauder ant colony is in desperate need of food, and more specifically, meat. And guys, this week, when feeding this booming marauder ant colony a mealworm placed on the opposite end of Marauder's Alley, this elongated terrarium specially designed to showcase their species' incredible swarming and trailing behaviors, what the ants ended up doing blew my mind, and it will definitely blow yours. Let's watch how a ravenous swarm of marauder ants abducts a whole mealworm and drags it deep into the depths of their castle home here on the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. AC family, in the last video featuring this young marauder ant colony, I mentioned that these ants were definitely one of my dream species. And what you guys will witness today will demonstrate exactly why. The way these ants feed is crazy. Collectively, when they swarm, they're like one huge monster, devouring anything edible in their path. But aside from watching these marauder ants swallow a mealworm whole and literally drag it into their castle, do stay tuned until the very end, as I have something truly awesome to reveal to you all. I shouted when I saw it. All right, but before we go ahead and feed our hungry marauder ant colony here, AC family, it's time we officially give this dream marauder ant colony of ours a name, shall we? In their last video, I asked all of you to give your name suggestions, and I've chosen my top five favorites. The list got the approval of your AC Senate, the governing body of members on this channel, whom you two can join by hitting the join button on this channel, and I have placed the name suggestions for you guys to vote on under the pinned comment of this video. Simply leave a thumbs up on the name you choose for this marauder ant colony. And the name with the most number of likes will be the official name of our colony here. Please take a moment now and vote for your favorite name suggestion. And you can vote for more than one name if you so choose. Thank you AC Council for your input. Now before we get to the crazy action I saw when I fed the colony this week, I really wanted you guys to know and see this first. So in terms of feeding, I've been feeding this colony a constant supply of mealworms as it is currently their favorite food. When the colony is bigger, it will be able to eat whole dead animal carcasses. Ooh, can't wait. But for now, I've chosen mealworms to be their main source of protein and the occasional cut up roach. Now, every time I feed them, the ants pretty much do the same thing. The ants emerge from their castle and scramble to cover all the sticky exposed guts of the mealworm. 
with debris, mostly grains of sand and twigs collected from their surroundings. They do this as a safety precaution, so they themselves don't get stuck in the guts. You see, insects naturally have a coagulant in their hemolymph, the technical term for insect blood, that gets really sticky and hardens in order to heal any cut or wound in their exoskeleton. So naturally, when I cut up the mealworms, the exposed blood and guts from the opened up mealworms become a hazard for the ants wanting to eat the mealworm. So they first pile on the grains of sand and debris so they can easily work with the mealworm pieces. But what's truly impressive is what happens deep inside their castle when they do bring the mealworm pieces into their nest for consumption, removing the cover. Sweet! Behold our precious marauder ants. Now I noticed that the ants drag the mealworms directly into the queen's chamber, where the whole colony can feast on its goodies. Clearly our colony here has been benefiting from all the mealworm pieces I've been generous in giving them. And look, a massive larva, larger than the rest. It seems the surplus in protein has spurred the queen to produce more majors. That huge larva will become another large worker ant with a huge head and jaws. Now it's cool to see how the mealworms get processed within the nest. The mealworm meat, once consumed, gets distributed to each larva. It's pretty amazing that the colony seems to have a system to ensure none of the larvae are left unfed and go hungry. I'm guessing each larva releases a feed me pheromone, which prompts workers to feed them. What's also cool is no part of the mealworm goes to waste. Even the leftover exoskeleton pieces that are too hard for the adult workers to chew up are fed to the larvae who do have the necessary mouth parts to chew them up and consume. Now here's the thing, AC family. Every time I feed these ants, I cross my fingers hoping to see a swarm emerge to feed on the mealworms and to see the ants form their awesome trails. You see, this species of ant forms these truly impressive swarms and in a previous video last year, I filmed a wild colony of these marauder ants as they swarmed the outside of my cottage home at the time, consuming all things edible in their path, even making away with my dog's food. And so when creating Marauder's Alley here, I made sure to design it specifically to showcase their natural swarming and trailing behaviors. But every time I fed them, yeah, a group of ants would come out, but not the iconic swarm I was hoping to see. And if I placed the mealworm too far, they wouldn't find the mealworm at all. I suspected it was because the colony was still too small, and allowing too many ants outside of the nest for food collection would be too huge of a risk for the colony, since at this beginning growing phase, every worker counts, and a predator could be outside waiting to gobble them up. So for a while, the colony only sent out these small loose packs to gather the food I placed near their castle. But that was until one crazy feeding that occurred just this week. Picking into the colony's test tube this week, I was truly shocked at what I saw. I removed the cover to their nest. Whoa! The amount of brood was staggering, and the Ember Empress's abdomen was totally physogastric, meaning all stretched at its seams and blown up like a balloon, just full of eggs. Clearly she's been busy amassing her hoard. In fact, the brood extended into a second upper chamber of the nest. With the population of the colony now much larger than last week, I felt it was time to try something slightly different for the feeding of this colony. In my mind, the horde was ready to reveal its formidable tendrils and swarm for us. And so AC family, though the colony may not have been ready before, I felt now was the time to witness the ants swarm from their castle and bring home food as they would in the wild. I grabbed a mealworm from my mealworm stash and placed it at the opposite end of Marauder's Alley. I mean, this would have been a true test if this were out in nature, because in the wild, there isn't some feeding entity making sure their bugs fall perfectly close to home. It was now or never for this colony. And though it was a long travel to get to the food, I had a hunch the ants were about to show us something spectacular. And now all we had to do was wait. And AC family, sure enough, to my surprise, just 30 minutes later, 
The colony did end up finding the mealworm. Ah! A swarm! I knew it! I couldn't believe my eyes. I'd been waiting for this forever. Here's where things got so cool, AC family. The swarm of ants began to lug the mealworm home. Now while watching this, do keep in mind scale. This huge mealworm is many times their body weight, so lifting something of this size home would be like a bunch of humans having to lift a bus or RV home. The ants masterfully maneuvered around challenging obstacles in their path, like stones. Carrying this mealworm home would require a huge degree of communication and synergy. The pheromone-enforced trail would guide the ants towards home. And look, a trail! My heart was soaring, watching the ants at work, doing what they'd be naturally doing in the wild. It was remarkable to watch the ants carry the mealworm across a surface that was definitely not flat, nor particularly favorable. But I knew these ants were fully equipped and skilled enough to transport this mealworm home to their castle. Some ants had to walk backwards pulling, while others walking sideways lifting and carrying, and others forward pushing. Some ants would break off from the campaign, heading home to call for reinforcements, while other ants rushed to the group from home base to assist. Funny to see some ants trying to clear the way, anticipating the grand homecoming of the mealworm bacon. Bring home that bacon, girls! Now let's take a few moments to watch the ants carry this mealworm to the castle. And once it arrives, I think you guys will truly love what they ended up doing before bringing it inside the nest. Enjoy this ant watching session. Right, and almost there. When the ants finally reached the foot of their castle, I loved what the ants did. As an extra precaution, the ants began to pile on the debris, mostly towards the head, which was now oozing in hemolymph from when I crushed its head prior to feeding. This was actually very smart of them to do, because all that sticky hemolymph could pose a danger to not only the adult worker ants within the nest, but also all the masses of brood draped around their nest chambers. And when I began to wonder why they didn't do this debris step first, before even transporting the mealworm here, I realized, well, no, adding debris before transporting would just add extra weight to the whole package and require more energy to transport. So it would make more sense to add the debris here, right before transporting the mealworm into the nest. Great call, ants. Great call. And when the ants were ready, they began to lug the whole mealworm into one of the entrances to their castle. And swallowed. I slid off the cover and saw that the ants had lugged the mealworm into their living chambers like bosses. I then watched as the colony slowly yet carefully lowered the huge mealworm down into their lower chambers. So cool to be able to watch this all in action. They were bringing their precious catch to present to their queen. 
but as I searched the test tube, the queen was surprisingly nowhere to be found. What? Wait a sec, where could she be? She wasn't even in the lower basement chambers the ants had excavated for emergencies. I did my best to scan the nest, and lo and behold, hiding behind a curtain of brood in the upper chambers was the queen. See her? She was secretly waiting in the chamber next door to where the ants had parked the mealworm. Awesome. And so AC family, that was it. Wasn't that truly a sight to behold? What a dream to finally watch the ants swarm and form their iconic trails to bring home their food, all in a simulated captive setup. I would from now on make sure to feed their meals on the opposite end of Marauder's Alley, so we could watch their swarms and trails grow in intensity and thickness, more and more as the colony continues to grow. I must say, it is such an honor to be able to keep this species with all of you as we observe them performing what they do naturally in the wild. In my heart, I knew things would just get more and more fun as this colony would continue to get bigger. Meanwhile, the most we could do now is continue to feed them until they outgrow this test tube. And when they do, I have some pretty amazing plans for a next setup that I think would further highlight their behaviors. You'll just have to stay tuned for that. And so guys, please do remember to hit the like button as it really helps a lot. To let YouTube know you enjoyed these ant videos and that they're worth sharing to new audiences. And hit that subscribe button to be part of this new and exciting journey as we raise this mighty Marauder Ant Kingdom into the millions. I can't wait to announce their official name, so don't forget to vote. Now guys, at the start of the video, I mentioned that I have some pretty crazy news to share. So while our Marauder Ants were busy working on growing their numbers within their castle, they had no idea that just nearby, their ultimate arch enemies, a rival colony, was secretly growing its numbers. A species of ant that naturally competes with Marauder Ants in the wild and was just as ravenous, aggressive, and fiery, if not more so. AC family, you won't believe what I spotted in my new Fire Ant Queen's test tube. No way! Worker Ant Pupae. Fertilization confirmed. And the coming of a Fire Ant Horde. Inevitable. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.